What's up, party people? Jonathan with Tactical Toolbox. And today, guys, we got something really kind of different. Different yet the same to our channel. Uh, we got the appendix carry rig on steroids. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, this is actually, sorry, I had to put a mag in there. This one is called the MTR appendix rig. And that stands for multi-threat response rig, um, I guess. If you're going to be dealing with multiple threats, you need a mag carrier, you might even need a knife. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is from Tac Lab. And uh, I got to be honest, you know, I think that their uh, tagline should be innovation comes standard. Because uh, one thing I really like about Tac Lab, sorry, I'm just turning off my computer monitor, is they're not afraid to take chances and they're not afraid to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, it's really funny. I uploaded a photo of this on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And then I shared it in a few uh, Facebook groups for Glocks and Concealed Carry. And it's really weird. Like on Instagram, everyone loved it. Not one person had a negative comment about this. Everyone thought that this was a good idea. Then on uh, Facebook, we had a few people um, in a couple of groups who were like, well, that's just retarded. Why don't you just put the kitchen sink on it? And... Uh, but those guys are the kind of people that uh, they're stuck in their ways. A couple months ago, Jason from Tac Lab reached out to me. We spoke on the phone and talked about doing this review. And I told him, yeah, let's do this. I really want to try these out because, you know, holsters are like boobs. Once you've seen one, tried one, you want to try the rest, right? So the first one he sent was this really awesome. Look at that. That's carbon fiber. And then it has tactical fuzz on the back. And at first glance, you'd be like, dude, that's amazing. Not gonna lie, this tactical fuzz is not as comfortable as it looks. And here's why I say this. See how well you can see my shirt here. So when you go to put it on and your underwear is here uh, and you're moving, it can pull your underwear up and you can get a wiener wedgie or it can pull your underwear down in the front and just be really annoying. Um, like for example, with this one that doesn't have tactical fuzz, it just, it glides with you, right? So, excuse me, um, that is uh, tactical fuzz for me is a no-go. I don't like wiener wedgies. So, uh, also this one was a little bit too wide. Um, I found because typically thinner uh, people appendix carry and these uh, belt clips right here, they touched the belt loops. So if you think of this as the front of my pants, I had a loop here and a loop here, and I had no room to move it. And so it kind of, because it was wider, it forced the grip to my right more and it, the uh, end of the grip printed. So I spoke with Jason about some changes that I would think, I thought that not only me, but a lot of other people might appreciate. I thought something that a lot of people would probably appreciate would be I mean, you can get these with tactical fuzz still. I mean, that's cool. I just don't like it. Um, was a thinner design, not thinner, but narrower. And uh, because that way they can put it where they like. Uh, one thing I love about this is it stays where you put it and the grip will be in the same exact position every single time when you go to draw from concealment. Um, another additional change that we made was, you see these belt clips here? Um, they were originally down and it, the gun was just way too high up for me. So I suggested making these uh, clips where they're a little longer, but more adjustable. And so that worked out. And then this TDI knife sheath, it was a last minute thing. It really was. Um, this is really cool because, oh, stick around to the end because we're going to be doing a giveaway. And... Uh, you're gonna to wanna to know how to enter that giveaway. You got two ways you can wear this knife. See, the cool thing is, is this little wing here, it all comes out. It just comes right off with a screwdriver. So you could either wear it like this, but down lower, or you could take uh, this clip that he'll include and it will hold it like this and the knife will ride your belt like this. So you can either have it like this while it's on the holster we're talking about the knife, or like this as just a belt option. And I really like this. Um, 
I didn't actually have one of these uh, K-Bar TDIs. These things are really cool. Started researching these things, and I gotta tell you, these things are sharp as shit. I've already cut my finger on it. That's um, very lightly, but it, it was really sharp. So I started researching these guys. He said, I ordered one for myself. And he goes, uh, I'll do a full review on this later. But the giveaway, we're gonna be giving away one of these knife sheaths here. And um, you're gonna wanna get a TDI for that sheath. Or if you don't have a TDI, I'll put a, an affiliate link in the description where you guys can pick one up. Pretty cool little knife. But I, I learned that a lot of uh, military and law enforcement actually carry these on their left side. And then what that does is when they're in a self-defense situation, if someone's coming towards them and they or trying to take their gun, they can turn their body, yank out the knife and defend themselves while they go for their firearm. Um Pretty cool little option. Um, this is a fighting knife. This isn't really a tool, I don't think. Um, I, I, I like pocket knives and stuff. I've never carried a fixed blade, but it's very comfortable. It's very surprisingly comfortable. Well, you know, uh, as you can probably see here in the B-roll footage that we're gonna roll here, um, conceals super well. Um, before, like I said, with the wider version, it didn't conceal as well. But as soon as he narrowed it down a little bit and got these clips in place, this thing is perfect. And um, I do like it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Where's my other one? I still prefer this one for just a couple of reasons. Honestly, this comes in a very close second um, as a, a favorite. Um, we'll roll some more B-roll footage, but basically the, what I love about TAC Labs holsters is he makes form and function coincide together. So he kind of goes against the grain and then he um, adds all these really cool uh, jagged designs. He also has the magazine at a different type of cant. And so the cant is a little bit more slanted and that actually aids. So when you're pulling the mag and you wanna come up, it helps in rotating that hand up. Um, he also doesn't do any retention typically on the mag caddy here. So it slides in and out. Um, and you can adjust that retention, but what I mean is like that click that you get. So for example, here's one that has the clickable kind. Listen. Okay, so it's in there. And all that is, is a small dimple in the back. I mean, honestly, if you really want this uh, click retention, um, you can ask him to do it. Or if you get it home and you wanna try out the non-clickable retention, then all you need is like a hard pen and a blow dryer and you heat it up and just push it in. And then, um, but what, what makes it uh, great about not having uh, the click retention is it allows you to insert this mag either with the ammo facing towards the firearm there, or you can rotate it. I guess he told me that a lot of his clients uh, actually carry their mags this way. I've never heard of that, but hey, it's an option if you want it. Um, at the range, um, I practice a lot of drawing from concealment, you know, we yank in the shirt and firing. I have no issues with it. Um, it ha he, he has a really good level of quality that is just, honestly, I haven't seen quality quite like this in a long time. Um, not that my other ones aren't quality, but this just kind of takes it over the edge. Um, these are vacuum formed. And, but look at this, like, look at this Kydex here. Look at those edges, so shiny. And look at that. I've never seen anyone pay that much attention to a grip tuck claw. I mean, that is beautiful. It's just shiny. It's two layers. Um, and it works very, very well. So guys, I gotta tell you, Jason is a good guy. I'm not affiliated with this yet. I mean, I might be in the future, but I don't get any kickback if you guys buy one of these holsters. Um, if you already own one, I'm not going to tell you, Hey, go spend your money and buy another one. I'm not gonna tell you that because I think if you got one good holster, um, it works great. Um, or maybe you want a backup holster just in case something happens to it. But if you're in the market for an appendix holster and you've seen all the different companies out there, I think this is great value. Um, price wise, he falls right at the lower spectrum. He's not as cheap. As, he's not the cheapest, but definitely not the, he's not even above the, mid-range pricing because uh like for example if you've seen uh 
some other holster companies like T-Rex and people like that. Um, they're around 130, sometimes $140 for some of these holsters. And um, then you have other companies that are charging about $75, but then you get basic colors. And then, you know, if you start adding like carbon fiber and things, they start fluctuating, you know, boosting the price up. Um, so we're gonna do what's called the Tactical Toolbox special on this. Um, you're gonna, it's free shipping, it's a flat rate, and you can have any color combination that you want. So for example, like some holster companies will charge $75, right? And then you want the front to be one color, you want the rear to be another color. So that 75 now turned into 85. And then you gotta pay for shipping, which is $10 here, like 95 bucks. So price-wise, he's definitely in the lower end of the spectrum. But, and when I say the Tactical Toolbox Special, that doesn't include the knife sheath. Um, so you'd get a nice looking, this is awesome. This is multi-cam and orange. You guys know I like orange. Everything's orange around here. Uh, awesome rig. I really like this. This was a last minute deal. And um, that's what I like about Jason at Tech Lab. You know, he's an entrepreneur. He's been doing this for quite a while. He supplies a lot of the local gun shops where he lives and gun ranges and keeps them in stock to sell his stuff. He doesn't have a website yet. But you guys can contact him on Facebook and Instagram. There'll be links in the description for you. Um, his website's currently under construction and being designed as we speak. Um, so let's do a giveaway for this um, for a TDI knife sheath. It won't be this one. You'll get it in the color combo that you want. Um, how do you enter? Well, I'm not going to make it super complicated. So let's do this. Like, subscribe, and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. And then go follow TAC Lab at Instagram and Facebook. If you don't have an Instagram account, just create one. They're free. You don't got to use it after the giveaway. Um, so yeah, that's how you're going to enter. Comment, like, subscribe. Ask me a question. Tell me my face is funny looking. I don't care. Um, doesn't really bother me, but this is a solid offering right here. It's got really good retention. Um, there is one major con that I don't like. Oops. Dropped my mag. And that con is at the bottom right here. And this is my only con, and this is just nitpicking. Um, when you insert the firearm, you can't put a threaded barrel on your gun and use this holster without dremeling that out. Whereas with my other one from Redline, from the factory or from his garage, it has room for a threaded barrel out the gate. Um, I'm running suppressor height sights. They do fit as well. No scratching or anything like that. So if you're running suppressor sights, it, it will work well for you. But like I said, don't, uh, if you have a threaded barrel, you might want to tell him so he can widen this. So yeah, let's do this giveaway. We'll do the drawing. Um, let's do it in January. What's today's date? 22nd. We'll do it January 22nd. We'll draw the winner. Give you guys a month to uh, do that. And uh, guys, thank you so much for everything that you're doing. We're going to be seeing you guys at SHOT Show. Oh yeah, one other thing. Jason from TAC Lab. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my Built Not Bought series that we're doing um, with the AR. Well, he's going to design something that goes into the trunk of the car. And uh, I still got to get some measurements out to him. And because we're building an AR pistol. And he's going to make something that is inconspicuous conceals and holds the AR pistol in the trunk and is easy to access. So we're going to work on something like that, guys. And, you know, me and him, are going to work together, see if we can't figure something out. So stay tuned for that and uh, go check out Built Not Bought going on right now. I I'm uploading videos as we speak. But anyways, guys, love you. Uh, go check us out on uh, social media. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.